They are called a fish, but look more like a lobster. You know, they're kind of like little space aliens, right? They're, they're so different from everything we conceptualize as an animal. Crayfish can certainly be found in our streams, several different types in fact. But there's one that Drew and the White Sulphur Springs National Fish Hatchery is especially keeping a close eye on. We're raising the Big Sandy Crayfish, um, which is a species of crayfish that's listed as threatened. The Big Sandy drainage basin can roughly be found where West Virginia meets Kentucky and Virginia. Habitat loss and lower water quality has put this crayfish at risk. A lot of times when you see an endangered species, you have low numbers of animals that are geographically isolated, right? They're prey species, right? So they're getting eat all the time. They're kind of at, you know, the lower end of the food chain. So we'll go out into fall and we'll collect, you know, babies or broodstock females. Um, we bring them in, in here to the lab and then we start culturing them. And that, you know, usually takes place through the winter. This success rate can't be replicated in nature. What usually takes about two years out there takes three to four months here. The male just passes this little packet of sperm to the female and she kind of tucks it up in her shell and she holds on to it for later whenever she's ready to lay eggs. And it's really cool. This is what I love telling the kids about, right? Their, their eggs come out of their armpits, right? The hope is to put as many healthy crayfish as possible back into their native home this upcoming spring. Ultimately, the hatchery wants to also start working with the Gaia dot crayfish, which is listed as endangered. They need clean water, right? They need clean water to survive. These, these animals are living under big rocks, right? So, you know, they're, if you're not stacking rocks or disturbing rocks or driving your ATV up and down the creek, I think that's a big one. So far, the work in the lab is promising been a joint effort between the hatchery, the Virginia Department of Wildlife Resources, and West Liberty University. And so it's really neat that it's going on here in West Virginia, and you know, we're the first to get to do a lot of this stuff. These crayfish come out of a creek that I used to fish when I was a kid, right? So it's uh, you're deeply connected to these projects, so that's really cool. With Wild Appalachia, I'm Brandon Stover. We have lots of great adventures on Wild Appalachia and you go with us. Just click right here, like, subscribe and hit the bell notification to get the latest uploads.